Hey, it's almost Halloween, so I thought we could have a little fun today in social studies again. You are going to need your candy corn craftivity paper, another sheet of paper. It can have lines or it can be just plain white, pencil, um, glue stick, scissors, crayons or markers, okay? So you should have all those things ready since it's on the directions page. This, another sheet of paper, pencil, crayons, scissors, glue stick, okay? And I'm gonna screen share to show you what to do. What I want you to do is watch all the directions first because I'll probably go too fast. So watch all the directions first, then you can go back and do it step by step and re-watch the video if you need to, okay? So that's probably the best idea is to watch all the directions first. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is cut out the candy corn. So I'm gonna cut this out just around the edges. Everyone getting excited for Halloween? I know Viviana is. Bennett's a teenager. He's not quite as excited as her, but he's still going to hang out with his friends. Okay, cut it out. Now, oh, you know what? Mm, yep. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to fold my candy corn on this line, okay? So I'm going to fold it on that line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my other sheet of paper and I am going to glue this tab, just this folded part, on the paper. Whoops, oh, that's a big hunk of glue, isn't it? Yuck. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. Oh, well, at least we know it'll stay, right? Okay, I'm gonna glue it on my paper. I'm gonna put it down and just glue it right there. Okay, so now I have a flap. I am going to cut out my candy corn again, or if you want to just leave it on there, you can, and then you can decorate it with like some jack-o'-lanterns or some other Halloween things. That's totally up to you. So you can cut it out, or you can leave it on there to draw some pumpkins. Oh, that kind of looks like a heart pumpkin, doesn't it? Okay, so that is up to you. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut again, just the flaps, okay, just this part. If you cut out the second piece of paper, don't cut that, only cut the top paper. And you're just gonna cut to where the flap is, okay? You're just gonna cut to where the flap is. That way you've got one, two, three flaps. Magic, huh? When I do flaps, I like to draw lines so I know where the sections end and I don't go over it. So I'm going to trace around my candy corn. So that way when I write, I'm not gonna go over, and then when I close it, I've got words hanging out. So I'm gonna open the top flap, favorite Halloween treats, and I'm gonna draw a line again, so I know how much space I have to write in. Then I'm gonna open the middle flap, my costume, and I'm gonna do the same thing. That way, if I'm writing and I have all my flaps open, I know how to keep each section separated so it doesn't go into the other section. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to write your favorite Halloween treats. What are your favorite candies that you like to eat on Halloween? You're going to write about your costume. You could even draw a picture. You could write, my costume will be, and then draw a picture of it. And their last section is my favorite part of Halloween. What do you like about Halloween the most? Trick or treating, dressing up, the decorations. I think the middle section is orange on candy corn, right? 
So when you're all done, you can color in your sections with crayon or marker, whatever. That way it looks like real candy corn. Marker might be better, it might be a little brighter, but that's up to you, it's your candy corn. And then the bottom section is yellow. I don't really have a yellow. Okay. And then you've got your very own Halloween candy corn. Okay, so that's social studies today. Have a little Halloween fun, all right? So watch the directions first and then you can get started. And you keep it, you don't have to post a picture of it or anything, hang it up on your refrigerator or on your mirror for a little Halloween decoration. Okay, I hope you have fun, enjoy it.